Hello everybody! Today's video is going to be about repurposing incense sticks. Now, I've told husband in the past not to buy anything from the Dollar Tree or the Dollar Store because they either smell absolutely nasty or there is no smell at all. In this case, he picked up uh, 48 incense sticks with uh, each box containing eight and they absolutely have no smell to them whatsoever. Um, there's um, this one here that kind of smells like dead flowers, so not really happy with this. Um, I'm going to show everybody how they can, rather than throwing them out, you can actually repurpose them and turn them into incense sticks. Um, I have um, a bunch of oils that was given to me. I've still got like uh, seven or eight more in the bag here next to me. Um, all of these oils are actually from um, the body shop. So uh, the lady was very nice to, she's not using them no more and she was nice enough to give them to me. So um, usually when you go to do this do this somewhere where you've got you know if you get oil on a table or somewhere that you can wipe it off because some of these oils uh, if they get on your animal's fur can actually you know make them sick um, because a lot of these are really really concentrated oils uh, now these oils are actually for the candle uh, candle burners uh, with little tea lights under them so these scents are really super concentrated and um, I'm going to show you guys, uh, and I've got some paper down so that way if I dribble a little absorb oil, I'm actually going to show you guys what I actually do to uh, uh, do incense. So bear with me here. I've only got one hand and I'm going to try not to uh, make a mess uh, or actually you know, cause vertigo with everybody. So usually the first thing um, that if you want to start doing this um, have yourself some type of bottle that's got a squirty thing on the end of it. Um, a lot of the liquid vitamin D drops actually have the glass ones. So this is what this was. This is actually a vitamin D dropper that I, I occasionally use. I've got a tiny little bottle brush that I actually mix uh, sunflower oil as a carrier or um, almond oil and actually throw in a couple of drops of everything to stretch everything out. So you can actually take uh, and do that that way and actually drop and actually run down the length of the stick and coat it really good leave it set for 24 hours so the oils have a chance to go all the way through to the stick um, uh, I actually did uh, did one and went to burn it about 10 minutes after I had done it and I really couldn't smell anything. So um, if you want to do a couple of coats, let them dry and actually then use them. So what I'm going to do, um, my favorite scent is uh, patchouli. And this actually came from uh, a place in Texas called Scented Treasures. Um, this is out of uh, Teague, Texas. And I really really see if I can open this with one hand I don't think I'm gonna be able to open this with one hand oh that's on there really good yeah all right we're gonna to have to do this real quick okay that bottle lid was on there really good and tight so what we're going to do is I'm actually going to get Some of the oil out. And you don't really have to squirt this because it will the because of how dry this is, it's actually going to pull it out of the out of the little thing bobber. I don't even know what this is. Out of the little syringe thingy.
All right, so I'm gonna let, I guess I can sit that back in there. I'm gonna flip it over and use the rest of what's in here. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much how that works. Um, so, the stick, it's actually coated quite a bit. Now, if you do have spots where there's no oil, it's okay because the oil is going to wind up being sucked into that spot because there's so much oil. Um, usually when I'm done, I actually try to either set them upright in a, um, in like a cup or something that I don't mind getting oil in. So that way it actually has a chance that there's excess to actually run down the length of the stick. So, um, other things you can do with this too, is that because these um, are so dried out and so simple to break off, that you can actually pinch off See if I can pinch some of this off. There we go. You can actually pinch off. Again, I'm using one hand. So give me just a second here. I'll actually just pinch off the whole thing. It's so dry, it just completely flakes right off. Alrighty. So, now you can actually take what you've pinched off. There's all the resin, and there's the empty stick. Uh, you can actually take the resin and actually mix it with oil and basically just kind of mash it in and kind of work it in. This would be actually really good for um, doing concentration with doing spellcraft if you're in the process of uh, working magic. You could actually use this as a meditation and actually take the oil and actually focus the oil into the dried stuff and actually put it on your sensor and burn it in your sensor. I've actually made um, homemade incense uh, using using this right here. Um, I've used stuff like, um, uh, give me a second here, uh, rosemary leaves and thyme and juniper berries and um, stuff right here soaked in oil and actually burn it on my um, burn it on my sensor and it actually has come out really good too so it's really not that hard i'm actually going to grab my um grab my bottle that's got my incense in it which should be right there there it is So, there's my homemade jar of incense, and instead of it having the um, dollar store stuff in it, it's got some of the self-lighting incense with the uh, charcoal that's already in it. It's actually been mixed up in here, so there's juniper, there's rosemary, there's, um, uh, what else do I got in here? Oh my god, I think I've got... Uh, lavender and a bunch I think there's like five or six different herbs and stuff in here and spices too and um, I this is actually for cleansing and getting rid of negative energy you know stuff dealing with sadness and and the wintertime blue blah thing so um, and it actually helps out really well with the rosemary and the juniper it actually smells quite nice so if anybody has any questions, if anybody's um, interested in any other incense ideas or what they can do, um, I do know that um, if you do decide to knock off or flake off the old stuff and you want to keep the sticks, 
Um, you can actually make your own incense. It's not that hard to do. Um, you can go to a local food barn and get um, xanthan gum, which is actually what's usually used in a lot of gluten-free um, baked goods, and actually use the xanthan gum as actually a binder to um, hold your um, your incense, uh, your stuff on your incense. It has to be really powdery fine. So if you've got an incense or a grinder, like a coffee grinder, you can actually grind it really, really fine, mix in the xanthan gum, add a little bit of water and mix it into a fine paste and then you actually just basically roll it back and forth into the paste and you'll start collecting large clumps of the stuff on your sticks so rather than throwing the sticks away you can actually save them or the other thing too is that if you've got those candles and you don't have an aim and flame these are amazing for reaching down into candles and actually lighting light, lighting candles. So I save these for these a lot too. Um, thanks for watching everybody and hope everybody has an awesome Austria. I cannot wait for spring. I am sick of snow. Oh my goodness. And the cabin fever is driving me nuts. So um, love and blessings to everybody. Uh, take care. Blessed be. Bye. Of love over you've been living.